Hello everyone, so we're going to try a, another new game today and that's called Geodepths. Now this is done by a small indie developer, um, judging by the description on Steam and that, they've been sort of developing with it for the past couple of years and is that now full release. So I thought it'd be a new and interesting game to kind of delve in to explore and it's kind of basic um, automation, underground mining, that sort of thing. Don't really know too much about it, but we're going to dive in and explore it anyway. Okay. I'm guess i'm in some sort of um some sort of pod i oh, know we're in a, a spacecraft by the looks of it so this is pretty cool okay um definitely might need to turn my sensitivity down a little bit uh mouth sensitivity 20 percent. we'll go down to 15 we'll see how that feels yeah that's a little bit better okay let's have a little bit of exploration and then see what we have here so far kind of look like the look of the artwork of the game this does look pretty cool kind of different um let's have a look and see what we have over here so Hades Delver Drill can drill through rock deep underground in order to mine ore and find caves. Okay, got a PDA, personal data assistant, uh, multi-tools, mission terminal. So mission statement. As you know, you've been hired by the Planetary Mining Corp to investigate an odd signal they have picked up from deep below the surface of outer rim planet Manticore IV or 4. They say this signal is unlike anything they have detected before, potentially extraterrestrial. Anyway, you've also been tasked to re do routine subterranean survey whilst you're down there. A small base has already been set up in a suitable cave close to the surface, and the Hades Delva drill can be found docked there. When you're ready, go jump on a teleporter in the next room. It's already been primed and targeted to take you to your base. So tips, use the drill scanner in order to find undiscovered resources. Upgrade your drill in order to dig deeper, build your base, build more machines and terminals to help you towards your objectives, which are investigate this strange signal coming from deep in the planet, find mine and scan any resource you find, scan and curiosities you may come across in the cave. Okay, so this is just basic info about what we have at our disposal. Um, we've got a teleporter, which I guess is that room there. And um, we kind of skipped through this lot. So Manticore 4, that's the planet we can see over here by the looks of it. So that's pretty cool. Um, so, okay, let's um, go ahead, jump in the teleporter and let's go and start mining and explore them. Okay, so here we are at our base by the looks of it. I'm guessing this is the base over here. Yeah, this looks like our base. We've got no power as of yet. Okay. Um, drill storage oh this is some sort of conveyor belt system maybe that comes from our drill which i guess is here okay so let's um let's get to it then i guess kind of um see what we have to do so we need to head to our drill and we need to um undock reactor status off um okay so we can press tab and open our pda so survey the natural resource found beneath manticore 4 upgraded drill build the base of operations um, this is how we use the drill by the looks of it you can either move, move the mouse to manipulate the controls to move the drill or use keyboard or controller um, and these are some stats here as well okay so let's um let's undock the drill and see how this goes i guess um do we just click on the chair okay so we have a scanner here on our top left i'm not sure what these buttons do ready to dock we're at the cave base over here um rock toughness we're at depth for 200 go ahead oh okay so we can steer around this way we'll just yeah we'll just go forward i guess oh, okay so the different colors over here are the different rock toughness so we'll have to upgrade our drill so unidentified three use mining lever f to mine um okay so we just click and recover or uncover these resources i guess which will get us these resources okay so yeah that's nice and simple um let's head over to this icon then we'll see what this one is i guess we'll just uh, mine all the resources we can for this moment so we'll get those done easy peasy let's head over to this this icon over here we'll see what this is all about cave unknown ready to dock um yeah let's go and explore this cave we'll dock at this cave and we'll go and do some exploration cave oasis Okay, so we have a torch over here. Um, we can scan these. Okay, so biomass. Yeah, we'll take the biomass. I'm not sure what we're going to use that for yet. 
Oh, okay, no storage and drill. So we're fully stored. Scan everything we can as well. Um, we've got all those scanned. We've got these scanned. So that's all good. I'm guessing this is just going to be a whole load of biomass in this cave. I'm guessing we'll be using biomass for power of some sorts. Judging by all the other sort of games like this we do play, that's predominantly what it's used for. So, okay, I think we're full on storage then. We better head back. What was that? Well, I don't know what I just took. Oh, it's a geo one. Interesting. Not sure exactly what we do with that, but um, yeah, let's head back. Head back to a drill. Guess we kind of need to head back to base already then, because we seem to be kind of full on our storage. So yeah, biomass and unidentified 15 out of 15. Okay, let's head back then to see what. Oh, oh no, we didn't want to do that. So we can't go backwards then. We have to kind of go forwards. I'm not sure what this icon over there is, but we'll explore that one after. Can we select over here? Hold oh, strange signal. 84 meters in that direction. Cave unvisited. Cave unidentified over that way. Oh, okay. So we can scan like that. Um. Oh, okay. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and we'll dock at our base and we'll see what these items we've got are. So let's see. Oh, okay. So it automatically goes through that way. Let's see if we can get some sort of power backup power generator and um, we've got that lot coming in let's see if we can fire this up aha okay so we've got some sort of power which isn't a lot um research we've got here resources scan available okay, let's let's scan these resources so mallet mallet kite i guess unlocked refinery recipe copper next nothing okay unidentified copper um research not sure what we do with that as of yeah and what have we got here so idle copper six yeah let's go we're so we should receive the resource in in here yep yeah, okay and that should turn it into copper that's pretty simple okay it's nice that they give us a machine to start with so we can get refining these resources that's pretty cool and there we go we have our copper so i guess that automatically goes into some sort of storage so base construction Allows construction now in the expansion of your base. Use your multi-tool to start building. Press F. So let's go ahead and get this copper research first. So I'm guessing it's a two to one ratio, is it? Or is it a one to one ratio? No, it might be a one to one ratio. So that's pretty cool. Let's research this. Can we research? Base construction unidentified. No, we can't research. Oh, okay, because we need unidentified and copper, I believe. Okay, so let's go ahead. Let's um head on out, I guess. We'll undock we'll go and see what that other sort of symbol was this one over here so we'll go ahead and head in that direction and then we'll i guess we'll just get some basic resources all done and then we'll go ahead and see if we can find this uh strange signal over here so 73 meters in whatever direction up there is going to be guessing that this here is where our limit is so we're limited to four so we probably won't be able to mine this no okay so we can't mine that as of yet so let's go unidentified we'll see where there is some of that try and get some of that resource actually gathered so we have here some of these so we'll get these done we'll head back and get some of this um identified so i think we'll go for two lots of this and then we'll grab ourselves some more copper okay so that's good and then we'll go ahead and we'll grab ourselves some copper as well and then we'll head back to base i think that should be pretty good okay that should be enough to get us started we'll get some research done and see what kind of options we have for our base building we definitely want to try and upgrade our storage um as quickly as possible because it is quite low uh, it's a lot of back and forwards that we need to do so we're going to go ahead and scan this resource as it comes through but we're gonna try and get the rest of this copper all done so we're gonna go ahead and get that done and we're gonna scan this resource as well which i believe should give us what this unidentified is so iron three yep okay perfect that gives us iron so we need to get some smelting done and then we can do some research over here so we're just gonna go ahead and wait for this to finish refining and we'll get the iron refined as well and then we'll go ahead and see what research we can get 
Okay, so we've got enough resources now to do this research. So we're going to go ahead and get this lot researched and see what other unlocks we have. Like I said, ideally I want to go for storage first, try and get that maximized. So, okay, so deconstruction allows you to decorate your base with some furniture. Not too worried about that at the moment. And what else have we got here? So unlocks drill upgrades to perform at the buildable drill upgrader and power unlocks the power terminal power storage and biomass generator okay so i think we should do drill upgrades first because we do want some more storage so i think we're going to research that if we've got enough after we'll research power as well um because as you can see we have got kind of a, a limited factor on the power here by the looks of it okay so let's grab our multi-tool um we do need some iron here apparently so that's cool um we've got a storage terminal here um which would be pretty cool to have um refinery research uh, drill upgrader that's the one we want so we do need some more copper so okay let's go ahead um i'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of trips and gather some more resources kind of stock up a little bit and then we'll go from there but first of all what we will do actually we'll go ahead and get the storage terminal popped up over here so we can actually see what we have i know it's going to be using resources but it will definitely be handy to have so there we can see we've got nine of biomass there so yeah let's go ahead and gather some more resources so i've been rather busy and as you can see we've got 45 iron and we've got 45 of the malachite which we need to turn into copper so what i thought we'd do is we will get that refining and while that lot's refining that should give us plenty to do a few upgrades but i have um i haven't explored it yet but i did see a cave while i was sort of traversing the map getting some resources so i thought it'd be a good idea while that's all refining for all the copper we'll go down here and we'll explore this cave so we're gonna dig ourselves a path through here and looks like we've got plenty of resources that we can also gather let's go ahead and explore this cave over here and get some more resources scanned so we're gonna whip out our torch or our multi-tool should we say looks like we've got some bits down here to explore uh, we can't go down there which is good i didn't want to fall down there to my death that wouldn't be very clever um and let's see what we have over here so let's scan this amber lumisphere for more biomass okay so we've just got plenty more biomass over here and um, we've already scanned that okay we can't go any further that way and we've just got more biomass over here some more biomass so at least we know we've got two caves that are full of biomass which is a good and handy to know and uh, what have we got here we have a dear diary it's a log okay i have never written a diary before kenny would often be writing in that journal of his back on the hulk i always mocked him for that but well, I've got nothing else to do in this new subterranean world of mine, so I figured I would give it a whirl. A constant raging storm makes the surface uninhibitable, and that just leaves these caves. The Drear Rover drill, ship I've stolen, has been vital for navigating underground. Food and water are sparse down here, so I need to be constantly on the move. Funny how life takes these turns. One moment I'm stuck in that metal, can they call a prison ship? The next I'm stuck on this barren planet. The Hulk was my cage, but this, this is my real prison. Even if I could get off this planet, I don't think the rover will make it through that storm once more. I'm still wanted in four systems. So it looks like someone is pretty much on the run then. They seem to have escaped some sort of prison ship and now they have been stuck in this planet. Very interesting. So a little bit of lore there. Definitely excited to... um explore that a little bit more and see what that was all about um maybe we'll find more on this planet that will explain that a little bit better but yeah okay we've got a whole load of biomass i mean we might as well grab some biomass to be honest we might as well stock up in our storage on biomass um we've got enough iron and everything and i think we'll be delving into the realms of power so we definitely do need to um expand our power source so as we're here we might as well grab all this biomass Okay, so storage is full by the looks of it, so let's head back and we'll hopefully see if all of our refining has been completed. So we'll undock from here and we'll head back to base. And hopefully we can do some drill upgrades as well so we can see what these other resources is. We have got um, some more unidentified um, resources around somewhere, not around this area local because our scanner's not picking it up. We're about 100 meters away in that direction, but I'm going to be guessing we need to upgrade our drill for our rock toughness so we're better off doing that first and 
upgrading our storage if we can as well so there's our biomass coming in so let's see how it's doing yeah it's doing pretty well um let's see what we can do from here so we can research our decoration also research our power so i think we should research the power get that done and then we can go ahead and build our drill upgrader so we probably want to put this over here for now quite possibly that will do um and yeah we've completely run out of power so i think we're going to need a power terminal so let's go ahead and pop this power terminal down here if we can um can we put it on the wall like this it's not letting us put it there but we can put it over here let's put it there for now okay power storage okay power generator biomass can we pop these outside by any chance no we can't okay so we need to pop a couple of power generators down um get this lot done we might have to see what else we have over here so uh standard room so can we expand a little bit and maybe put a power generator um sort of a room for the power generators let's go ahead and i think we'll remove these and we'll see if we can build a room that way we can so we can expand that way which is good i think we should put the uh, generators over here so let's go ahead and put our storage terminal back over here and we'll also put our power terminal over here as well okay now what we can do is get some power storage and some biomass generators in i think that will be a good idea we'll do okay we don't want to do too many because we are going to run out of iron very soon um yeah we've completely run out of iron so we might as well just put one storage down over here and we'll probably have to do a couple of trips so we'll get some power storage down over here for now and i think that should be pretty good so let's go ahead and whack a load of biomass in here and that should be generating power and then we should be able to store this power in here um i think i've kind of got that wrong way but it doesn't matter too much um so we've got production and demand over here yeah so i think we're pretty good um we should be able to utilize the rest of this so we've got drill upgrade over here so we've got speed which takes copper we've got storage capacity over here which is okay yeah we are going to need a lot more iron i think but i think we should upgrade the speed as that's going to be a pretty good thing to do so i'm going to upgrade the speed and what we'll do is we'll cut out all the boring bit and i'll go and gather some more resources that bit can be a little bit laborious so saves that you watching all of that lot i'll just go and do all of that um explore a bit more of the map i won't uncover anything obviously if i come across anything i want to show you guys i'll be sure to um cut back to it so there we go we have been a little bit busy got some more resources we should have enough actually to complete all of these stage one upgrades and then we've got a few more caves and that that we can explore so we're going to go ahead and get these upgrades done so we've now got um 20 instead of 15 storage capacity which is good we're still running a little bit low on power i think we need to kind of increase our biomass production we're all out of biomass so we'll probably have to get some more once we go cave exploring but yeah i think we should have enough to upgrade this one and then potentially the next one as well so that'll be all the tier one upgrades for our drill so that'll just make things a little bit quicker um and then strength we should be able to do some mining cell two drill mining shape oh is that where we're actually mining the resources we get to do two cells instead of one that'll definitely speed up um harvesting the resources for the copper because they is a little bit slow with the iron we kind of get five for instance caught sort of um covering one block but the the malachite for the copper takes up two spaces and we have to mine one cell per so that will definitely speed up that lot so let's go ahead we'll head back into our drill now all the tier one upgrades are complete and we've got a couple of caves to explore so we've got a cave sort of down this direction if i remember rightly and there's one sort of down in the southeast as well so we're gonna go ahead and explore this cave and then we'll explore the other one and now we've got access to uh, rock toughness 4 we'll explore and see what one of these icons are as well so let's go ahead and explore this cave and see what kind of um, resources we can research down here maybe we'll find something else that's interesting along this cave as well we will see so first online target is a round root melon for some more biomass i don't want to harvest anything as of yet just in case we find anything else i don't want to block up our storage um looks like we've got something here we can scan so we'll see what this is 
drill tech drone drilling okay that's interesting we'll definitely go ahead and check that out um looks like we've probably found whoever that diary is from so we'll scan this and we'll give this diary a read so log sorry i'm stuck down here my ship is damaged beyond repair and i'm running out of emergency supplies i don't even recall how i got down here the last thing i remember is plummeting down to this godforsaken planet after all my ship's instruments went haywire next thing i know i'm waking up in this cave this was meant to be a simple outer rim scouting mission just one more i told them just one more before i come home i'm sorry okay so it's different from the dear diary log that we got um this it seems to be another explorer that's kind of unfortunately um ended here so hopefully we can help so hopefully we can find what they were looking for basically we can't sort of get past this area which is a little bit odd and um, maybe we can come across some sort of tool to kind of investigate that lot down there um seems to be some remnants of a ship down here as well okay so there wasn't much in that cave so we're going to go ahead and see what we can find here so hold on a minute use multi-tool to scan f okay yeah we already know that that confused me a little bit then but let's go ahead and we're gonna swing around this way let's see if there's any other caves as well so 121 meters in that direction we've got another cave i know there was one over in this direction as well so it seems like there's plenty of caves that we have yet to visit on this level um i believe the other one was over in this direction um we did find another symbol an arrow a sort of down arrow up in this direction i believe that i'm going to hazard a guess that that's going to be going down another depth level so i think we'll leave that until we've kind of explored the majority of this and kind of discovered everything we can here it looks like we can go rock toughness all the way to 100 so we're going to explore this cave and see what's um, hidden in this one and then we'll come up with another plan of what to do next after we've kind of discovered what's in this one so abandoned station oh, okay we might find some decent stuff in here then this is an abandoned station so we have over here okay so we haven't got anything around here that we can kind of look at um there's nothing down here that we can scan so i think it's all going to be kind of inside this um abandoned station let's have a good look around and see what we can find yeah i think it's all just going to be inside so let's go ahead uh, what have we here unknown scan target artificial plants artificial plants here we've got some sort of machine um what else have we got here so okay we can't scan much in here looks like we've got some power storage artificial plants um i wonder if we can power this thing up so we can get some things open over here what is with this door okay so we definitely can't do a lot in here which is a little bit of a shame i wonder if we've got access to anything else as well no it doesn't look like we do can we supply power to it maybe sort of unlock something around here let's just double check over here again uh, make sure we're not missing anything from here seems a bit odd that we can kind of explore this cave but there isn't really anything to do apart from artificial plants seems very odd there's got to be another purpose for this round here somewhere it surely there's got to be um we can't scan these no interesting okay maybe this will be explained a little bit later on maybe quite possibly okay let's um head back anyway we couldn't really see much from there so okay so let's kind of head back towards base we've got another unvisited cave in this direction actually so let's see if we can kind of explore through here uh, hopefully it's not going to be in a place we can't access no it looks like it should be accessible with our rock toughness level so we'll go ahead and explore this one and then we'll see if there's any more after this so what have we got over here so orbit structure interesting okay uh we've already researched those so it looks like we've got some weird looking structure over here um hello you're obviously pointing to this um oh okay and i need to pop that in there oh a secret door oh okay what have we got here um alien glyph these glitching glyph codes seem to have been deliberately placed within caves housing these alien ruins they undoubtedly bear extraterrestrial origins as well i should remain vigilant and search for additional glyphs in the hope that they may offer valuable insights into their intended purposes hmm okay so it looks like this is some sort of um code oh 
okay oh okay so it just goes through and then stops at what the code is supposed to be interesting um what is this that we need to scan um alien artifacts within alien ruins i have found schematics for cubic artifact i should be able to build a fabricator back at home base to make one of these assuming i have the resources required there are no hints to what these artifacts do nothing i could decipher at least i feel like i should keep them close once constructed though just in case i need them okay so it gives us some more options to um craft some artifacts we want to kind of keep an eye on what that code is and it's definitely going to be something we need for that code to unlock somewhere um but for now i think that's pretty much it in this cave okay let's see if there's any more caves we need to explore so it was kind of two triangles with one part of the triangle facing each other so we've got another cave up here towards the north see if we have the correct mining level to see if we can actually go into this one and access it hopefully it's going to be in this level here if not we'll have to do some more research gathering some more upgrades before we can delve into this cave I do want to explore what this other symbol was. I'm definitely intrigued. Uh, potentially this could be within this level 4. Yes it is. Okay. So hopefully we can get there soon enough and explore this one. This could potentially be the last unvisited cave. I'm not entirely sure yet. But I'm sure we will soon find out. Okay. Oh. We've got another tab here. What's this? Drone drilling. Line 1. Cone 3. I'm not sure what that does. Oh okay. Okay. So we can just send out a drone and it will just mine out that way. Oh, okay. That's kind of weird. Kind of interesting. Um, not much re use for it as of yet, but definitely something to bear in mind, I think. So let's um, go ahead and explore this cave. Flora Grotto. Okay. I think this is just going to be full of biomass by the looks of it. Um, but we will see. We will definitely explore this lot. Uh, yeah, puff stem, biomass. Oh, what have we got over here? Got another another log. So stuck. I'm stuck in this blasted cave. I don't even know how I got here. I barely even know who I am anymore. The fairies are my friends. They tell me to hang on. The shadow man showed up again today. I close my eyes until he goes away. Everything goes away when I close my eyes. Okay. Seems like you're having some weird dreams. He seems very um stuck. Oh, I've got myself another worm. I keep forgetting we need to keep an eye out for them. I'm not sure what they do as of yet, but I'm sure we'll we'll figure it out at some point. Okay, so I can't really do much else with you, can I? I'm not sure what you're supposed to be doing here, but um, interesting. Maybe we need to upgrade our multi-tool or something to be able to do a bit more in these caves. I'm not entirely sure, but I'm definitely excited to start exploring a little bit. So we've got another unvisited cave 300 meters down in this direction. So see if we can go past our home base, shall we? And um, see if we can explore what one of these other symbols are. So we want to kind of head around this way, try and take the quickest route possible, which is pretty much the way we come from. Okay, so let's head on down here can't remember exactly where our home base is but pretty sure it's around this direction ah so it looks like we've got two unvisited caves it just changed direction ever so slightly so we'll see what else we can find i think this was the one that was closest to home base i believe or maybe it wasn't um i'm very lost now oh, okay base is up that direction let's carry on going this way then to the unvisited caves pretty sure there was one this way and probably one over here in this dark patch that we're probably not going to be able to access yeah so we're not going to be able to access this cave over here as of yet because that's going to be a level five and i'm pretty sure the other one is as well so let's go ahead and see what this symbol is as we're right next to it and we can access this one have a look and see what this is all about unstable passage ready to traverse passage use traverse switch f yeah let's see what this is all about um okay ah depth 210 meters okay what is this oh so there's no caves on this level then unidentified 108 meters that direction oh so we have gone down a sort of a depth here to 210 so let's go let's go back up we don't want to kind of go too far i want to try and get some more upgrades done so we can kind of explore all these all these caves so i think what we need to do is unlock level five i believe um let's see yeah that's level five and that's going to be level six so oh that passage has collapsed so maybe we shouldn't have come out of there we should have carried on going through there uh, we have got another unidentified sort of thing over here, which is just in there. Yeah, so I think we're going to need to do some more upgrades, first of all, to kind of upgrade what we can, so we can do our rock 
toughness level five i think is what we need to do and then the very very dark one i'm guessing is 100 so let's go ahead and i'm going to gather some more resources and head back and we're going to try and get all the, these caves and this other discovered item or unidentified item as well we're going to get that done as well so let's head back to base we're going to see what resources we need we'll do some more resource gathering and then we'll go ahead and see if we can get everything explored on this level and see what the requirements are to go down to the next level so let's see strength we need 25 iron okay and we'll probably do all of these so we can do another speed one so we'll go ahead and upgrade that that will just make the gathering the resources quicker next time round and then we needed i think 30 iron altogether quite possibly let's just have a double check oh it requires research so we've maxed our speed so we need 20 and 20 so we need 55 iron um and then what have we got here unidentified so yeah we can't unlock any more of these as they're all ident unidentified at the moment so we can probably get the decoration research that only takes five iron by the time we've got some more so i'm going to go ahead get some more resources um occupied and then we'll go ahead and get these done as well uh count two drones now, i'm not too worried about the drones as of yet i don't really see the real benefit of them quite yet so i'm going to go and get some more iron and we'll be back very shortly with a load more resources so with all the resources gathered up we can now get all of our upgrades done which means we should be able to fully explore this sort of this level before we move down to another level i want to try and get everything explored in this level first before we move on so let's go ahead we can get those upgraded we possibly could do drones one as well um but we'll have a look and see what else is on the research first before we move down to the next level so yeah we could do that and that will leave us with seven iron which means we can also research the decorations so we'll research that and we'll upgrade that and i think we should be fully upgraded to sort of this level before we move down which is good that's kind of how i like to do things i like to you know fully upgrade as much as we can we can do drones too as well but as i said i'm not too fussed about the drones at the moment okay so with that all done we can go ahead and finish exploring what we can on this level so what we have is we have this unidentified over here um which i believe was on a level five but what we want to do is explore one of these passages again because we didn't do a very good job last time with doing one of these unstable passages so we'll go ahead and do this one we'll explore this one a little bit more um okay so what have we got over here we've got no caves from here we've got no strange signal no base uh, we have got some resources down here we've also got an unidentified as well so let's go just go ahead and see if we can find this unidentified uh, we're definitely moving a lot quicker through all of this rock which is good uh, resource gathering is taking a little bit less time now which is ideal but uh, it's just over here so we're going to go ahead and see if we can grab this resource and see if we can figure out what it is when we get back to base so what have we got here oh it's uh, nice and green so we'll go ahead and we'll mine this so as you can see now um we've kind of upgraded this section so now it's doing two of these sort of chunks shall we call them um two of these chunks at a time i'm guessing we can upgrade them a little bit more as well but there we go we have uh, that sorted um we have got some more over in this direction yeah let's go and have a look and we'll grab this bit of resource over here and then we'll go ahead and we'll head head to other caves that we um haven't explored yet because we didn't have the correct uh, drill to be able to do that so we'll grab a few more of these just in case we need these for any more of the upgrades and i think what we'll do is we'll stop off back at base so we can actually identify what this is um but i think that will do for now and then we'll go and explore them caves that we needed to explore before we move down to the next level so ah, our passage took us to a depth of 165 which is higher than what we were before which is interesting yeah we'll head back to base and we'll go from there we'll see what this uh, this resource is okay so here we are back at base and our unidentified resource is currently being extracted so we're going to go ahead over here to our resource scanner and we're going to scan it and see what it is so we've got bionite okay so that's interesting what can we do with this bionite then can we head over to refinery no doesn't look like we can um so yeah we have curios bionite very interesting okay it doesn't give us any other research options at the moment so we're gonna head back out to those caves 
see what those caves entail to us so we've got yeah so we've actually managed to we've managed to cover this area so we haven't got any unidentified yet so we've just got unvisited caves so we're going to go ahead and explore those unvisited caves and i think we'll be ready to move down to the next level so we've got this unvisited cave here which is in the rock toughness level five so we're going to go ahead and explore this cave um let's see what this one's called so triangle trouble interesting okay what have we got over here a tangle bulb okay um that's interesting to say the least where can we go can we go up here no looks like we need to go this way to make sure there's nothing else we can research kind of look like um kind of a weird christmas tree or like an, an acorn or something like that very odd to say the least we've got tangled bulbs over here uh, what have we got over here oh we've got another drill tech autopilot oh autopilot to take us back home i guess anyway that seems like that would be pretty good definitely something to research um that might be a good idea to research before we go down to the last level so let's just go back to our drill we'll just double check there is no more caves to explore and then we'll go from there so unvisited cave we have 91 meters of that direction so yeah i think we've got another one over this way so we'll kind of try and traverse across the underground till we can find this cave so here we are we have made it to this cave as well let's see what this one is called so flooded enclave oh it looks like we've got another sort of um obelisk by the looks of it so we'll definitely explore what this is all about we've got some more glyphs over here so we'll scan this one um oh okay so it does actually um keep them in in here like that which is pretty good saves trying to remember them that's kind of handy pretty sure that's going there's going to be something inside there isn't there surely but can't really do much i need to kind of pick this up and put it on there maybe um let's have a look around this side and see what we have over here yeah so this one is open this one very interesting uh let's have a, a little explore in here and see what we've got so we've got another another tablet here so dr m carter 14 today i stumbled upon a cave that led me to a breathtaking discovery what i can only describe as alien ruins the air is charged with an eerie energy leaving me both exhilarated and apprehensive the architecture and technology here are like nothing i've encountered before i shall endeavor to explore deeper in research of more examples of this alien architecture mm, okay so um dr m carter so we're going to scan this alien biomass farming oh okay so hopefully we can set up our own biomass farm now that'll be handy if we can it'll definitely make it easier to generate power i really want to pick this up and put it on there because i'm i'm pretty sure that there looks like a door and i've got a feeling that's going to open but there's no way to actually interact with this which is kind of annoying but let's just um head back maybe we've got some more undiscovered caves that we need to explore no okay so we've done all the caves we've visited them all so let's head over to where it says strange signal quite possibly so we'll head over where it says strange signal we'll head to there and see where it takes us we've done everything else we can on this level so i think that's going to be the best option so here we are we've made it to the strange signal which is this here so yeah down to 400 meters so ready to traverse the passage so let's go ahead and we can traverse down and we'll see what down at uh, the depth for 400 meters pretty sure there's going to be plenty more down here oh, okay so the toughness increases here we've got six and seven this will take us back down to our base that's kind of annoying that we have to kind of go back we've got to go back up to a level to do that uh so autopilot home drill oh okay so we can just autopilot home so autopilot in ah so it does work okay that's pretty cool okay so let's um go back to 400 then we'll um we'll traverse back into this passage now we know that that works and we'll go ahead and see what kind of resources we can explore through here so see what we've got close by we've got plenty of unidentified um let's see we'll definitely grab a load of this we'll make quick work of this okay so we'll keep those for the moment and um, we'll try and get everything that we can that will be unidentified so i think we've already got this one um so let's just keep exploring a little bit more see if there's any other resources that we need to get hold of uh 
hopefully it's not all the same but we shall see uh okay we can't can't explore that way anymore let's um go up in this direction see if there's any other resources that have changed it might just be this one this one resource around here to be honest but there's plenty of it though so yeah okay let's gra let's grab some more of this resource um we might need quite a little bit of it but we'll be sure to find out once we get back to base we've also got the biomass farming to explore so we'll definitely give that a look as well uh let's just we'll grab one load more and then we'll head in the opposite direction see if we can find any new, new resource around there okay let's head on over here and see what we can find over in this direction there's plenty of resources over here as well i have got a feeling though it's all going to be the same um oh there is a cave over here let's go and explore this cave before we head back there might be some interesting items over there that we can we've got access oh okay we found some more over here perfect so we'll grab this uh we'll grab a few of these if we can if we come across them just so we can get them identified and you know get them refined if we need to get them refined yeah so there's plenty over here as well we'll grab these and then we'll head on into this cave perfect we'll do one more for luck there we go perfect okay so we've got a couple of spaces free for anything else that we find in this cave so let's dock into this cave and we'll have a look so crystal spark oh this looks nice in here okay what goodies are we going to find over here then um this passage is a dead end by the looks of it i can hear some breaking over here okay what's happening over here is it going in some sort of pattern that we need to memorize or is it just going round in circles uh we've got another log here that we need to read so deeper kenny had the right idea back on the hulk writing keeps my mind occupied i ventured deeper in the rover if they are scanning a planet it should be more challenging to detect the rover down here my new cave is rather inviting it's adorned with glowing crystals that illuminate the darkness unfortunately there's not much plant life for food perhaps if i venture even deeper i'll discover more substance mm, the plot thickens uh crystal flora very interesting okay uh not sure what they are these crystals just seem to be going that way would did we come from this direction or if we yeah we did oh, okay so there's another passage down here let's carry on exploring down here then we did say something about going deeper um there's some weird uh black crystals down here can't seem to do much around here hmm interesting okay we've got loads, loads of um, lit up crystals over here and we've got some really dark and gloomy crystal down there very interesting okay so let's head back we'll um autopilot home we'll have a look at this uh biomass farm and we'll see what we can do with these new resources that we've found so we'll just click over to here and click autopilot home and it should do the rest for us so we have arrived back at base the autopilot back home worked absolutely perfectly well i say perfectly it kind of didn't pick the route that I'd already created. It kept trying to pick a more direct route and sort of mine through. So it took a little bit of time, but nonetheless, we are here. So let's get these resources scanned and we'll see what we have. Oh, biomass farming, bionite, perfect. We'll research that while waiting. Um, so we've got wolframite, which makes tungsten. Okay, and we're gonna research what's next. See what this is. Ah, okay, so we've now unlocked some more things that we can research. So we've got corridors for tungsten, room styles. Okay, auxiliary terminals from zinc, which I'm guessing it is what that is. Yes, okay. So let's get these refined, um, just so we've got some in our storage for in case we want to do any of these upgrades. We've got drill upgrades two, um, which is tungsten and zinc. We should be able to do that, which is pretty good. Drill music, a terminal color theming, which was set up within the drill. Um, different terminals for auxiliary terminals. Um, geoworm terrarium. Lost geoworms can be given a new home with this terrarium built perfectly for them. I definitely want to do that. I want to give my little geoworms that I've been finding a little home item dispenser the item dispenser can be used to create decorational items making the purpose of for the purpose of making you feel more at home in your base um and then biomass ferment with research anyway okay let's go ahead and see if we can sort this biomass um farming out somehow we have here we've got ah planting square so iron we need some iron for them meanderform oh okay so can we go okay so i think we need to actually get the planters down first and then we can plant our things through like that okay that makes sense um decoration we've got a bed if we ever needed a bed um some stool desks tables some plants that we can use okay so power storage terminal refinery research i've already got one of those 
So yeah, we haven't unlocked any more of those sort of thing. Okay, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. I think we are doing pretty well at the moment. So I think right there would be a pretty good time to end this episode. We've made quite a bit of progress. We've got some more unlocks to do. What I'll probably do in between episodes is go ahead and gather a whole load of resources. I'll do all the boring part and then we can go ahead and get some upgrades done. We can start making this space feel a bit more like home. So hopefully you are enjoying this game, Geo Depths. I'm thoroughly enjoying it at the moment, actually. I think it's a really good game so far. So if you are liking it, make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe as well so you don't miss the next episode it's been kryptonite here and i will see you in the next video